So again, ladies and gentlemen, in this example, the way that I always like to explain it, I, this, the process that we are going through is su it's called substitution. And I only like to think of substitution when I have a variable that has a 1 or a negative 1 as its coefficients. And you guys can see right here that I have an x that has a negative 1 as its coefficient. So whenever I see that for a problem, I'm automatically thinking, think, look for the variable that has a 1 or a negative 1. And if I have a variable that has a 1 or a negative 1, that's the variable I try to solve for. So I'm just going to do a little side problem here. And I am just going to solve for x because it has a negative 1. And obviously, some of you have, have done it. Some of you solve for this x. Some of you solve for this y. That, that's not wrong. It's just a little bit more work. Look how easy it is for me to solve for x over here. All right. It's fairly simple. It's a two. It's a two-step problem, and I'm not going to be dealing with any fractions. All right. But when a lot of times, if you guys tried solving for x and for or x and y and the other ones, when they have a coefficient, remember, you know, you're probably going to have a lot of times with fractions, and we all know we don't really like dealing with a lot of fractions. So all I'm simply doing is I'm replacing this equation for this equation. And this now it's just like a problem we, it's just like the problem I just did. OK, so now by replacing these equations, now I have an equation that is solved for a variable. And since so I have an equation that is solved for a variable, I can replace my variable x with 3y minus 10. So I'll write 2. Instead of a 2 times x, it'll be 3y minus 10 plus 8y equals negative 6. Does everybody see what I did, how I got that? Where did I lose you? Was that not a no? Oh, OK. Now, let's apply distributive property. And I will obtain 6y minus 20 plus 8y equals negative 6. 6y plus 8y is going to be 14y equals negative 6. Solve for y, so I add 20, add 20, 14y equals 14. Divide by 14, divide by 14, y equals 1. So now, ladies and gentlemen, I know I have y equals 1. To find the value of x, I can just go back to this equation. You can plug y equals 1 into either one of these equations. But it's much easier if you pick the equation where x is solved for, where x is um, by itself. And x equals negative 7. 